What is up, and it's going on guys, Simpson here, and today for you, I have another episode of Let's Play Total War Rome 2. We're playing as the Isani. Sorry, I had to adjust my mic and my headset then, it just feels kind of funny. So, we have a battle at Tosla, and uh, their capital of the Kalachuts. That's pretty much it, we have Shagash on the Dolph here, with the full stack, and then we have uh, the, whole, the Horns. Of Camelot, so just burp there. Now uh, this army obviously has a lot more ballista, so I thought, why the hell not put in this army because, or attack this settlement with them because, well, it's their capital, and I do believe once we finish off these guys, uh, they're the last one. Here's my third army because these guys were kind of angry. Uh, minus ten public order. There's probably going to be a rebellion anytime soon, uh, sometime soon. So I'm going to keep them there. Um, I do have a small army mother. back at Camelot, but. Uh, essentially, they're just there to keep the peace, um, realistically, <clears throat> because the public order isn't really too good here at the moment. And I'm not too sure why. Anyway, we have some battles to play, so uh, I was going to look at this Battle of Torsola. Uh, what's the auto resolve rate? 47% close victory, 45% prolific. That's a pretty big chance, even though we do a number. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep encircling, and uh, I do want to kick off the start of the episode with a bang, so we're going to play this battle here. It's actually better odds here. We do have reinforcements from ships, so uh, let's do it. They have roughly just under 2,000, and we nearly roughly just under have under 3,000. So I'm going to skip this loading screen, and I'll see you guys on the battle deployment. Welcome to the battle map, guys. It's raining, so we're definitely going to wait, seeing as we have most of my army mal uh, ballista. So, I think it's about time, um, I kind of avoided the topic, and uh, I'm going to talk about it in this episode. So, what are my thoughts and opinions on Rome 2? Uh, I'm just going to start off saying, if I wasn't enjoying this game, I wouldn't be let's playing it. And I'm absolutely loving this game, I, I, I'm i enjoying it. Um, I think it's a good game, uh, I know it has some faults, some bugs, and so it's had some problems, but uh, nonetheless, I really do enjoy the game, and uh, I'm going to continue to let's play it, so... Let's end it at that for the time being. Um, I guess I can go into why. Um, there's something what's the best option here. Because there's only two gates. And uh, my ships are coming in here. I'll, I'll talk about it in a second. I just need to do this deployment. Um, I think I'm going to have to even make it. Because there's only really the two gates that we can... Wait, there's only one gate here, isn't there? God damn it. Sucks, there's only two gates, but there's three capture points. But we can still come in from uh, two sides. So I'm going to put my, one of my armies here. And I'll put the other, say, here. Uh, Ballista. Um, I guess I could pop a unit here. Maybe if I can get some space. Right next to Stonehenge here. Yeah. That's a good spot. We'll use explosive round. We'll put one sort of here-ish. Put another one on this side. Probably here. And I guess another one. I'm trying to think what's the best spot. Yeah, I maybe just back over here. It's safer. It's safer because I'm probably gonna have to leave most of my troops actually in reserve, wholly and solely because um, they do have more troops, and I can't actually remember. I can't. I can't even remember, even though I just looked at the deployment screen. Um, what's what? So that is it. We're gonna put my ballista to fire at their troops there. We'll send one unit up. Our reinforcements have arrived. To get the gate way. Um, you lot can fire at them. Halt. I'm sure you can fire at these guys from here. Come on. Let's see if it, even I can make the shot. That was... Oh, God damn it. It's a little bit too high. Yeah, look at that. That's a decent ass shot. Maybe just a little bit lower so I can directly hit the gate. Or not. 
Uh, fire the game. Okay. These guys are moving up nonetheless. I'm going to move my ballista in range so they can hit. Actually, I might be able to take out some of these towers. And uh, my ships here are definitely going to just disembark straight from there. Just straight from there. No, no, no silly business. No guff about it. Um, I think I might move my... Hmm. I do want everyone to go on explosives because I think that would be kind of cool. Or oh, if we can get some... If we can get a ship, that would be fun. Sick. Oh my god, we actually hit it! We've actually damaged the hole quite significantly. Some guys glitched out. <laughs> I wonder if some more balls or some other... I reckon one more shot will get him. And I don't think this is going to be one or two. I think this is going to be that one right there. That one's looking pretty mean. Oh, that's that's a pretty good one. There. I'm hoping this round we can get it. Yeah, we go, we go. We sunk a ship. I think, oh, that's a kick in the teeth, that is. It actually didn't make them sink, as if. Okay, we keep on continuing to attack the gates. I'm going to get my catapults to fire at those guys. We've got this. Yeah, we're going to be done on the tower. Yeah, I've changed my mind. I'm going to go back to just a standard round. Have my troops embarked here? Not quite, but they will be able to shortly. I'm going to put my... Uh, well, it looks like the gate's open on that side. The men are wavering. Anyway, um... Yeah, we'll start moving troops here to capture the point, shall we? Um, as I was saying, guys, um, my thoughts are on GTA. I think... This is probably has more to do with my uh, personality. I wasn't, and uh, whatnot, I wasn't motivated for Rogue 2. I wasn't excited for it. I didn't, uh, I wasn't, I didn't get overhyped. And I think that's the key word there. Um, like, and that's just me in general. Like, when, when I heard Rogue 2 was coming, I was like, yeah, that's cool. Uh, I'm probably going to pick up the game. I, I do join Total War, and I might that's do a Let's Play on it. But the thing I didn't do is, uh, I, I watched one trailer, that's all. I didn't really wa like watch too much stuff, and uh, like I said, it's kind of like my personality sort of thing. I didn't watch like all single, every single bloody rally point and trailer that Total War um, and the, uh, has been destroyed. the Creative Assembly and Sega and whatnot did. Um, but I know people do. People like people. I know some people like that. That's your own thoughts. But I think. People watching those videos, like, they overhyped so much. Every media company does that. Every company has to overhype their game so they make sales, like, and they're obviously going to make promises that they, well, mostly break. But, um, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. Um, I had no expectations. I had nothing, really. I just, like, yeah, I wasn't keen at all. I didn't go, what, I need to play this game now. I want to play this game now. I didn't do that at any point. Uh, except for one point. <laughs> when we're uh, on launch. Um, I am going to admit to that. When I was learning, like a couple of hours from launch, I was sitting with Sol in the chat and he got in there before me. I was like, yeah, I really want to play this game now. I'm excited for what I want to do it. And having like no expectations for it, I, I, I quite enjoy the game. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's fresh. It's new. That's These just all my opinions. And uh, I did the very much the same thing for Grand Theft Auto 5. I did play Grand Theft Auto 4. I didn't really get into it. Um, I kind of, I, I did play San Andreas and Vice City and all the older ones. Uh, I did enjoy them, but I just think I think I uh, I didn't get GTA 4 until like a couple of years later, a year later, and then I played a bit through and just I don't know, I just didn't really get into it. I didn't really have time to play it all that much. But like I said, I had no expectations for GTA 5. I I, I barely watched anything of it. Um, I think I watched like maybe one teaser trailer, like nothing at all, like barely anything. On release. Uh, my brother was uh, going down to the game store and he's like, yeah, I'm going to get pick up my copy of GTA 5. You want to come? And I was like, yeah, sure. Um, um, I'll get GTA 5. Picked it up. Fucking amazing game. It's one of the best games I've ever played. Um, it is absolutely phenomenal. And having no expectations, and the same with movies as well. Like, just go... The enemy's I think power has been it's a good thing going in with no expectations. Don't get overhyped. Don't watch every bloody trailer because um, it's probably going to get spoiled. And That's just how I look at it. Um, now, for some reason, we're really not winning this battle all that well. <laughs> um, it's taking forever to take this point here. We're trying to burn down the body. Okay, so it's not really working out too well. I did have troops heading back. And uh, it just got really laggy then. Oh, the gate's open. 
You're kidding me. Anyway, uh, we'll move in. Um, One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh yeah, they're pushing on this side, right? Yeah. Welcome to the gates. I thought we destroyed them. Okay. Well, saying we haven't really broken in on that side, I'm gonna move my those guys in range. Uh, I'm gonna get these ballista to fire at this tower so we try and lose as minimal losses as ca uh, as possible. We're slowly starting to capture the gate now, which is which is a good start. I don't know why we weren't capturing it before. But we're making our way um, into the town city. The town city. The town centre. We're putting our shields up. Um, I'm hoping we can hopefully don't really meet too much resistance. I'm gonna keep my cavalry just behind the ballista. So obviously supporting the men are uh, wavering. sake. Uh, we've nearly burned down this gateway. Maybe one unit at a time can only do it. No, there's multiple units firing at it. Let's throw sticks at them to burn down the gate. That's always great. The enemy have captured the gates. Uh, we're moving in with a single file, so it's not too bad. We probably won't lose too many casualties, but once we get in there, we should be pretty well right. I've taken out a fair few towers. Not all of them, but uh, a decent number. I don't know why these guys seem to be thinking that they should flank when we're about to take down the bloody gate. Just back on the topic of um, of, of this game, uh, well, that that was kind of a, a stupid sort of question. On the topic of this game, well, of course I'm going to talk about this game. I'm let's play it. Nonetheless, uh, as I was saying, um, the thing is about this game, I think a lot of people just hate for the sake of hate. Like most of the people I see, um, I do know there's some funny glitches out there, and uh, quite personally, I've only had um, I've had some obviously texture issues. That's probably the only thing I've had with mine. The AI's been fine. Although it's been kind of stupid from time to time, but hey, you can't make it perfect. But um, people just battering it that like the glitches like they didn't happen to them. Like I don't know, it's kind of just like no one. I just want to say no one's making you play the game. If you don't play, if you don't enjoy it, and uh, you don't like play, just leave a comment and just stop bitching about it. Like this, I don't know. It doesn't really make me angry. I really couldn't give shits because I'm enjoying the game. Yeah, whatever you want to do, I I can yeah. If you want to play Rome 1, go at it. I really couldn't give a shit. All the best to you, my friends. Um, where are the capture points? Oh, there's one there. Perfect. We'll send this dude back. And we'll keep pushing up. All these guys are getting some copped in the back here. The Iceni are moving. No, I'm really sick of this advisor. Can I turn that off? That I do battle advice none. Okay. It wouldn't be in graphic. Maybe it's in sound. My controls. Battle interface. Units always. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. I'll do this one. We'll make our push for the the town centre. Um, I will leave this. Yeah, I might as well hold there for the gateway so they don't come back in. But I think we've got them all in a full retreat at the moment. And uh, victory. I'm going to end it at that. A decisive victory. I'm quite happy with the result about that. We deployed 2,944. We lost 232. We killed 1,435. Um, that's an awesome result. That really is. And uh, now we've taken their capital. We kill, uh, well, They deployed... 1,969, so we did outnumber them by just a thousand, not not by too much, but uh, yeah, losses, 100, uh, what, losses 1,539, they killed 96, jeez, they killed 96 of us, holy crap, okay guys, I'm going to end uh, this loading screen, stop wasting your time, and I'll see you guys back on the campaign, and there you go. Liberate. <laughs> um. Oh no, I, I want this province. Um, I'm just trying to think whether or not to sack. Or, uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna occupy. Ready for the time being, it's kind of a large city on the coast here. 
and uh, far out they have some uh, some buildings. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this. What does this do? Plus two public. Yeah, no, I'll leave it for the time being. All well, the populace is kind of low. Um, there's nothing. Oh, we can upgrade the general now that we're here. And what about this army here? Door save. Okay. I live to um, I'll just move my ships out. Actually, no, I've changed mine. I'm going to move them back into the city oh because we're minus 16. I don't really know why that is. 25% to conquest. Well, it's just going to go up to 50 once we take this settlement off them. Um. Hmm. We only just outnumber them. What's the auto resolve like? Fuck it, we'll order resolve. See how it goes. Making something interesting. Jesus! That guy went fucking ham! We actually have a thousand remaining? Holy shit. Liberate. No, I want to occupy so I can get the full territory. Well, I think I get the full territory now. Nah, bloody Massalia here. Okay. Uh, far out. So, we ended up winning the battle. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. Um, so how many armies do they have left? They've got two units of each, really. They're just scattered amongst the place. Oh, my allies here have taken that. Oh, are we actually... At? Yeah, they're my allies. I forgot about them. They're no out of Arnie. We haven't got allies with these guys, though. And um, they're all the kind of choose. Can we make them let into my military lines? No. Uh, defend. No. No, 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 no. I don't declare war on you, my friends. Really, they don't want to make alliances with me or nothing. Whoa, hang on. Come on, dudes. To the north, you say? Maybe they have an army here. Well, we're going to probably be taking out Marseille in the not too soon future. So we have these settlements here. Oh, yes, I totally forgot. We do have uh, my... My allies here. The ice... Oh, wait, who are we allies with? Nervani. Yeah, I forgot about them. Um, I was going to say, we're at war, we're allies with the Ervani. Um, I'm just trying to think, because we're probably going to, who are they at war with? I didn't actually look. The Carnitutes and the, what? Sestinae. I'm actually at war with them in my Roman campaign, I do believe. So we're probably going to have to attack them some stage. Um, how are our objectives looking? Raise or sack eight different settlements. We do need to start doing that now, I think. Hold at least one settlement in the... Okay, it's way over here. Okay, how are the taxes going? Kind of low. Well, we did kind of take these provinces by force and still 25% to conquest. That should go down right quickly and we'll be back up there. Diplomacy-wise, we could try to get some trade rights some, with some other factions. Moderate. Oh, they accepted. And uh, even though we're at I war with them, sure they can still probably give us a little bit of money. Well, they're not. We're not at war. They're happy with not happy with us. I welcome um, you. Uh, for some reason, we can't be trade I partners with them. Your are no I think that's maybe because we're trade partners with the Masali. Yeah, and they're at war with them, so it kind of piss them off. Hang on. Would would the Masali? Sending they have their kind of like a Greek, well they actually were a Greek city state at some point. With skillful Would they join that my? We may speak our parts well, and so reach agreement. I think I'm a bob. No, maybe we have to besiege them to subjugate them. Yeah, that'd be a cool idea. I think I might do that in the next couple of turns. Subjugate them, make them a client state of mine, a vassal, a. I think it's I think it's like join the confederation in this, but when you're a hey, barbarian, I can't, I can't quite remember. I, 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 I was thinking whether or not to build ships up here. We'll build we'll build just three um, to well keep an eye on the channel. But I think most of my fleet's going to be down here, um, where we're going to be moving troops shortly. So yes. uh, I'm going to rather I'd rather recruit down here. Save me it saves me time hauling ass from one end of the map to the other. Now I do, we did lose a couple of troops there, so I did forget about that. Okay, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching, if you've watched all the way through. I really, really do appreciate it. We've taken two settlements, and I can't wait to move on the last of these kind of rebels. 
and uh, hoping the plan is that we can make the Masali Eye a, uh, a vassal of us. So, like I said, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. This has been Simpsy Amount Layers, my friends. Goodbye. Hey guys, just before I leave you today, I would like to go and please follow me on Twitter. It's the best way to interact with me. If you've got any questions at all, message me on Twitter and I'll reply to absolutely everything. On there, you'll be able to see Let's Plays coming up, when I've posted a video, and all that good stuff. So, uh, also, if you'd like to subscribe to get all the recent up-to-date content on my channel. So, bye guys.